y'all these edges okay these edges we going to be fighting, okay? Now, look, I know I said I was going to go natural and I'm going to try to, you know, grow my natural hair out and stay off the creamy crack. But, okay, nothing, <laughs> and I mean nothing, is laying these edges down, okay? Edge control, gel, shellac, glue, spit, nothing. Ain't not Look, my hair is like pow, pow, okay? It's fighting back, so... We gonna see how long this <laughs> lasts, cause uh, baby. welcome back okay thank you for stopping by to check out another episode of color and coffee with KK okay today I'm drinking my Starbucks blonde okay I really wanted to try out the blonde because every time I see it I'm like is it just really really light or what's the deal so I'm noticing that it does seem to be a little bit more like a really light breakfast type blend or something you know not as strong it's good though yeah it's good okay you guys so I already have my eyebrows prepped and ready to go I did something a little different with my eyelids today y'all know I usually use my Mac soft ochre paint pot but I wanted to just kind of mute my lids out today instead of making them white so I went ahead and used my wet n wild concealer and this is what I always use to clean up around my brows so it's nothing new to me I really like the tone of it because it goes very well with my skin tone so I wanted to try this out and see how it would work you know priming my lids today because I decided I wanted to do a red eyeshadow look I sat down do any of you guys ever just sit down with your makeup I know you know being a youtuber I have a crazy amount of makeup but do any of you guys ever sit down and just like you have no idea what you want to do that's how I felt today okay no idea I was gonna use the burger palette because I still need to try that out but I think I'm just gonna do a whole video on that Plus, I'm not really feeling green, so I was checking out my girl, Savannah Silver. If y'all know who she is, you better check her out, okay? She does some bomb makeup looks, and she's been doing it for a hot minute here on YouTube. But, And she did this red look, and I was like, I need to try that. So, that's what I'm doing today. So, let me quit jaw jacking and start. Now, to start, I'm going to take actually a lipstick because I want to create a nice solid base for this red look if you know what I mean so I'm going to use my covergirl lipstick and this one is five, 305 hot <laughs> so this so, is what it looks like it's just a covergirl lipstick red and I'm going to place that on my lids just to get me a nice base going have one of those lipstick palettes you know where you can mix the colors together however you want you know it'd probably be easier to use one of those and just dip your brush in it but since I'm using lipstick I'm just wiping it on my lids now since this is a creamy type lipstick I am going to use a brush just to kind of you know blend it out on my lid and hopefully cause it to not be so creamy Okay, so you guys see how I just kind of blended that out as a base. Now I'm going to go ahead and move into the my Juvia's Place Saharan 2 palette. And I'm going to go ahead and use this shade here. We're not going to try and pronounce names today because I'm not in the mood to be butchering stuff. So I'm going to use this shade down here. Very, very, very pretty. <laughs> very, very pretty. <laughs> if I could talk. Very pretty. And I'm just going to kind of place that on top of that red and see how that looks. Y'all know when somebody else do a look, it always looks perfect and bomb, but then you do the look and you like, is that the same look that she did? Honey child, it don't be looking nothing like it. <laughs> so, 
we gonna try today, okay? So I'm just going to tap this. on that red. So listen y'all, word out on the street, okay? And y'all ain't heard this from me, but Miss Tati done spilled all the tea on James Charles, okay? <laughs> now I know you guys are fully aware of all of the drama going down in the beauty community, okay? It's a hot mess, but yeah, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Tati done spilled all the tea, okay? And I ain't mad at her. I ain't mad at her. You know, I'm proud of her. She spoke her truth, okay? And I am not mad at her. Y'all let me know. Sound off down below. And let me know your opinion on the situation, okay? Because, I don't know, some of these kids, they be acting like they ain't got no home training, okay? They gotta get it together. Okay, so next, I'm going to go into this gorgeous shade right here, this really deep, deep, rich red, burgundy type shade. And I'm gonna try and focus that on the outer portion of my lid, but also drag it into my crease and see if I can, if I can handle that, okay? Now I'm just gonna try and keep that right there and hopefully I can blend out the edge when I'm done. Okay, so what I wanna do to try and blend out the edge of that red a bit is I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Um, bronzing powder, which is what I use actually for my face powder because <laughs> I like the color, and just use this on a fluffy brush to blend out the edge of that red. Child, the blendation of it all, okay? <laughs> I love it. Okay, so now for the lid, I want to take one of these loose pigments. I got these from AliExpress. <laughs> Y'all know I love a bargain, okay? <laughs> and I love risking my eyes with this Chinese makeup. But anyway, these are from Foera. And it's loose pigments, okay? So these can be a little messy to play around with, but I got a few different colors. So this one is red, and I'm going to put some of this right on my lid. Hopefully I don't make too much of a mess, but yeah, I'm gonna put some of this right on my lid just to add that extra level of dimension on my lid. And since it's a loose pigment, I'm going to just kind of spread it out all over my lid. That's pretty. I guess it's a good thing I ain't walking through no crypt territory today, huh? <laughs> I ain't got no sense. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back into the darker shade here, that darker red, and just go back into the outer and the crease. Okay, easy breezy. Let me slap on some eyeliner so we can move on to the face today. Okay, you guys, so eyeliner is done. Now, my face is already moisturized from before I started. So for primer today, I'm using my Cover Effects Blurring Primer, and this is what she looks like. Cute little white tube. I love this stuff, you guys. It's not the most inexpensive primer. It is about $38, I think, for this tube here. And I actually got this in a BoxyCharm, I believe, a while ago, but I really like this primer. It's very mattifying and dulling um, and poor feeling <laughs> on my face. I like the way it feels. I like primers that actually feel matte you know, they just feel like they're creating a blur on your face when you're putting them on. I like primers like that. And I kind of like to focus these type of primers in the areas that I really need to be blurred and filled instead of just slapping it all over my face. I kind of focus it in my problem areas, if you will, especially when they're <laughs> more expensive primers like this one and the Tatcha. You know, I try to 
use them sparingly, if you know what I mean. Okay, I wanna try something a little different today. I used to color correct with the orange LA Girl Pro Conceal all the time, and then I kinda got away from it because I started feeling like it was making my foundation look orange, you know, cause you know me, I was probably using too much. But what I wanna do is I actually want to try using the LA Girl Concealer, but in a color that's closer to my skin tone just around my mouth area to see if I can get this, all this discoloration on my face to kind of even out a little bit more before I go in with my foundation. So I'm gonna play around with this today. And I'm hoping that it doesn't make my foundation feel super duper heavy because the LA Girl Pro Conceal is not exactly <laughs> a lightweight concealer. You know, it's kind of thick on its own, so. I'm hoping that I don't regret it. See, I'm starting to catfish already. <laughs> so I just used a little bit, not too much, but I'm already liking the result as far as it kind of evening out my face. But let's go ahead with our foundation. Today I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I'm in the color Spiced Rum. And I'm also gonna be trying out for the first time their concealer. This is the Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And I have the color Caramel, so we'll see how this goes. But yeah, let me go ahead and put this foundation on. And I can't remember if this foundation is too dark for me or not, or if it's just right, but we'll find out together. So I'm going in with one of my Shop Miss A sponges. I love these things, you guys. They're only like $1.50 and it's so freaking soft, okay? I had to go back after I tried it because I ordered, I don't know, maybe about three, four of them. And after I tried it, it was like, oh yeah, I've got to stock up on these. So I went back and ordered about six of them, you know. I mean, $1.50, what are you gonna do, right? So I went back and ordered about six of them and I am super duper happy. I love these things, they're so freaking soft. And I really, really love the Sonia Kashuk sponges as well as the Real Technique sponges, but I was like really shocked that these sponges were even softer than those. A lot softer, <laughs> so, you know. If you haven't tried them out from Shop Miss A, definitely try them out because I love them. Now, how long they gonna hold up after I, you know, wash them and stuff? I've already washed them a few times and it's just fine. But how long it's going to last over time, I can't say. Before $1.50, I ain't gonna complain. I sure enough ain't paying $20 for no sponge. Would you guys believe I didn't buy anything during the VIB sale? I didn't buy anything during the sale, okay? I am doing really, really good on my low buy, you guys. Really good. I am really trying to use the stuff that I already have. Now, y'all know my weakness is eyeshadow palettes, for show. So, <laughs> that I will never stop buying. But all the other stuff, you know, skincare, foundation, powders, and stuff, it's like I'm really just trying to go through and use a lot of the stuff that I already have. For one, I do want to start to declutter some stuff, you know, get rid of some stuff, give some stuff away. So I need to kind of revisit some things to figure out exactly what I do and don't like. Oh no, and even with, you know, it's like the major brands honestly have not been coming out with anything exciting for me to get like goo goo gaga over, okay, so. That always helps on a low bar. <laughs> Nothing exciting coming out, but ooh child. My girl DJ sent me a picture of a Morphe palette that's coming out. Honey child, y'all know I'm gonna be first in line for that mug, okay? It's, it's a new 39 palette. So pretty, it's like purples and blues and pinks or something like that, I don't know, but that mug is pretty okay okay you guys so i'm really really liking how that concealer kind of helped to even out my skin tone prior to my foundation over here i could still see a little bit of darkness but for the most part it's really helping out so 
I like it. I might start doing that for a while and see how I, uh, how my foundation wears. For this concealer today, I'm just going to use a very small amount to brighten up a little bit because this color does look a bit light. <laughs> this caramel looks a bit light for me, so I'm just gonna try and use it to kind of highlight a little bit. Oh, and that's cute. It comes with a little doe foot. I didn't realize that. Yeah, she's bright. Lighten up that mustache. <laughs> yeah, I think for a regular concealer, I would definitely have to go a shade up, down, darker. Oh yeah, that's pretty nice. I usually go in with way more concealer than this, you know, for under my eyes, but I like the brightness of it. I like it a lot. I just don't want to put too, too much because I don't want it to get too, too light. It's nice and creamy and it doesn't dry too fast. I do like that, that I have time to work it through. Okay, so for under my eyes and my highlighted areas, I'm going to use my J-Cat Banana Luxe Powder to you know set those areas and then for the rest of my face you guys know i'm going in with my elf pressed powder which is really a bronzer <laughs> but you know look i haven't been able to find the, my correct shade in a setting powder every time i i use one it either makes me look gray makes me look too dark makes me look too light so this is just the perfect shade for me when i set my face now I'm going in with my Morphe Glamma Bronze Bronzer and I'm going to use this as a bronzer slash contour type situation for my face today. I love this stuff you guys. It's bomb. I really just love to go in with it and just create that shadow on my face and then kind of go around the outer perimeters to warm up the rest of my face. I have to be careful not to use too much. <laughs> I love the beach. I love the water. I love being out on boats. I just, I love it. I'm a summer baby through and through. And you can tell because in the summer I get really dark. <laughs> and I love every minute of it. Every minute of it. Now you guys, for blush, I'm going to pull out an oldie but goodie, okay? This used to be my favorite, favorite back in the day. This is the Milani Red Vino, and you can see it has the little gold swirls in there. This was my absolute favorite, but I haven't used it in a while, so let me see if she's still popping since I'm doing red on my eyes. And you can see it has that built-in highlight, so typically I don't really like blushes that have a highlight in it because I do have a lot of texture on my face but today we gonna roll with it okay <laughs> and since she does have highlight I'm kind of taking her up like this as you can see okay now that we looking like raggedy Ann <laughs> Let's go ahead and finish these eyes before we do these lips. So, of course, I'm going back into the Saharan palette and I'm going to take the dark, dark red shade and just put that on my lower lash line. And I'm going to use this shade here that we started out with on the lid and smoke that red out. Now I'm going to take a little bit of my Milani eyeliner and this is just the pencil stay put eyeliner in black and line my lower lash line. I love the Milani eyeliner. It's super duper creamy. It's just easy. You don't have to tug and pull. I really, really like this eyeliner. I hate the fact that you have to sharpen it though. It's not retractable, but the actual eyeliner itself is bomb. And for mascara, I'm going to use my Lash Princess from Essence.
And so for my inner corner highlight on my eyes, you guys, I wanna use this loose pigment that I got from Profusion. It's really, really pretty. It's called Opulent, and it's just kinda of like a peachy gold dust, I think. I don't know, but it's really pretty, so hopefully I don't make a mess. Try not to go ham. So I'm gonna go in with some of my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Oh, I'm almost out. <laughs> I'm almost out, and this stuff is not cheap, okay? I mean, 15 bucks, eh. That's expensive as far as I'm concerned for a setting spray, okay? But you're probably not supposed to use it like you're taking a shower in it either. <laughs> so. Okay, so for lips, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of lip balm. Lipstick today, I'm going to be using one of my Wet n Wild cat suits. And this one is a red one in the color Missy and Fierce. So I'm just going to go in with this. And I'm going to take a little bit of my Too Faced Melted Matte lipstick. And this one is Evil Twin. And I just want a little bit of that on the outer portion of my lips. I know I'm doing stuff backwards, y'all. That's what happens when you don't know what you want to do. So this is the final look today, you guys, for this coffee in color with KK. Something a little different, a red eyeshadow look with a red kind of ombre lip hopefully you guys like it i like it i like this lip i like how it turned out i did it backwards but i still like the little ombre effect i didn't really try anything out new today except for the Too faced concealer and i like it okay it's concealing nicely it's set nicely i like it i think I would definitely be using it more. It's really more of a highlight shade for me, which I'm not mad at because then I can use a little bit less of it, but I like it. I like it a lot, so. <laughs> Aside from these crispy edges, I think we are doing all right, okay? <laughs> So, thank you so much, you guys, for hanging out with me for this Coffee and Color with KK. I think I did more color than coffee today, but thank you so much for hanging out with me. Hopefully you had something nice to sip on, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!